Thank you very much. I've packed all our test gear away. D don't want to do any more tests at the moment. Batteries, BMSs, balances. I think we have tested a lot in the last couple of weeks and it is time to go back to work. To the roots of the off-grid garage. Going back on the roof here and doing some improvements on the solar panels. Because, um, as you can see, all this cabling here, this is, um, well, this is apparently not quite conform with our regulations. Everything needs to be in a conduit or duct, in a protection pipe. So, and that's what I'm going to do now, to make this conform. Also, the earth contacts here which i have tapped into the aluminium profiles here that's obviously not allowed uh, i have done the right thing and used the star washers in between because the regulations say you need to have some penetrating connection with um yeah star washers but it's not allowed to tap into the aluminium. It needs to be a hole through and then proper washer, spring washer, star washer, nut. It's a bit of work. And you know, it's good. It's good to do something with your hands again, not just with your brain. And I've got some um, split loom to, to hide all these cables inside this loom then all the way up. And as you have seen here, I have bought some... Um, stainless steel cable ties as well so because people always said well you should not use these ones here or the white ones there because they are not UV resistant and I always wondered how do people know yeah I'll show you How do people know I haven't used UV resistant cable ties? I always wonder that when you get these comments, you know, Andy, you should have used UV resistant cable ties. Well, f I did. I just didn't show it in the video. <laughs> oh, it's so good to get back on the ladder here. Okay, I probably take off all these cable ties now here and put our split loom on these cables and then use the um, stainless steel cable ties to be regulation conform the only other thing is i haven't quite found is the actual earth cable here which i have used four millimeter cable um the current regulation says something about four to six millimeters it is not quite clear when to use four and when to use six millimeters I think I'm supposed to use six millimeters here on the roof, but I'm not 100% sure about this, but I will leave the four millimeter in place for the moment. But all the new installations here will be in six millimeter earth cable, just to be sure, you know. Okay, let's get started. It's a lot of work. Did I say good day actually? Hi guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Offcut Garage. Episode Back to Basic. Yeah, look at this. No shading, no shading, no shading. Tiny bit of shading, no shading, no shading, no shading there. No shading. mid of October summer is still coming the Sun is still fairly down 
we will have full sun on all these roofs here everywhere that's like 25 kilowatt of solar there's so much power I'm ready for a spat. That was the first two and a half meters, three meters of split loom. Oh, I should have put these panels further apart so there's a nice big gap. Yeah, I know. I changed this recently, right? One done from six. I like it. It's good. It's good work. Achieved something. Not just testing. Uh, testing is. Look at this, huh? These cable ties, they are a bit different to work with. They're not as um, flexible as the plastic ones. Yeah, look at all these cables. They are, that's not good. This was just the temporary stuff anyway, just to connect the panels and everything and earth them because I wasn't quite aware how this all will be, but now I am. Okay, I'll keep going and uh, I'll uh, talk to you again when we are done in the garage and have a spat. <laughs> Sunny, hot Australia. Look at this. Springtime. Much, much, much later. There, it's done. It's done. I had to get up on the roof with the camera again. I need to show you. This here was a total nightmare because the um, the support beam is so far in, and I was was lying in between on one side and reached underneath to go to this beam, and then, uh, well, yeah. There it is. It's not, it's not the best, but it's all right. All the cables are tucked into the um, uh, loom now, so they're all protected. As per regulation, you know? As per regulation. I have done the east roof. There's my offcut I need for my um, earth cable down there. And I will order more of this loom. It comes from Brisbane, so it doesn't take long to get in. But I wasn't quite sure if it actually works. As I was... Man, oh, foul there. Ah. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. But yeah, it, it, it actually works quite well. It is just a lot of work. So this one will be a bit better here because the cable is not on this beam, it is over here on this side. And I can actually stand here on this roof to get the first, well, the first third of the length done. So this shouldn't be too bad, this side here. And then when we extend this with another two lanes on each side here, I'll, I'm prepared. I'll put the cable into the loom straight away and then put the solar panels on top of it. It will be much easier. I'm prepared then. There are electrical garden tools available these days, my friend. Oh, that is so good. There are no batteries, no tester, no BMS, no balancer, nothing on the workbench. Ah, ah nice, no testing anymore for a while. I need to do some different work now. It's, I'm a bit sick of testing at the moment. So, our battery shelf. The battery shelf is getting there. I think I will have all parts ready to go by next weekend. Yeah, I have, I have done some testing here with a 70mm cable already. 
and to see how I come across here to my bus bus up here then and I think and many people commented to put some heat shrink over this bus bar here but I think I came up with a different solution so we will see I will show you this next week hopefully when all the stuff arrives and then we can finally start building battery rack or battery number two whatever you want to call it I still need to get rid of all this shelving here but it's so handy you can just unload all the crap you have there's so much space then because this shelf will go into this corner over there in between the beam and the electrical cabinet and this is where the batteries will live then later on so the uh, plan is we will start with this battery setting up this one as the first one and then once this is all connected all up and running we will take this one apart here and this one will be battery number two in the shelf then and then we've got space for a third one and i came up with something very special here to well i talked to you about this then once the material is there it is the planning phase of the whole new battery setup now at the moment and it is the most exciting but it is also the most frustrating part because i'm standing here in my garage for hours and hours literally looking at this shelf here and thinking about where the battery goes where the vms goes how the cable runs how the breakers go in there how the cables connect to the breakers how much space i have left how to connect the cables to the bus bars and a thousand thoughts more but i think i've got it all sorted now so so far and i will show you this very soon in a video here once all the gear is there i've got all the aluminium there to do a full enclosure here and i also bought this um 0.8 millimeter pp here under the batteries because people said it's better to isolate the aluminium floor with some plastic when you put the batteries on even the batteries are isolated at the bottom but i've got something different this is all part of the delivery next week so i'm very excited once this arrives we can really start working on this battery shelf here it's sitting here for three months now i think at least yeah three months and i made a lot of changes in my thoughts and on the shelf how to set up everything how to design it and i think it's quite important to take your time with these things because i don't want to don't want to start another build in half a year's time because this one isn't good enough or something so anyway guys this is the do-it-yourself battery solar channel here we've done some solar stuff on the roof today and the next time we will do some do-it-yourself stuff here on the battery shelf again hopefully well, and in between, we will do some battery tests as well, right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support here, for all your donations, for all your t-shirts, caps and mugs you have bought already. And until the next video, you stay charged and stay safe. And thank you so much for watching again. See you then. Bye-bye. Oh, guys, we got one. Look at this little guy. That's one of the first ones in this season. They are coming back slowly. That is so tiny. Look at my thumb. I bet he wants to go... Oh, there he goes. Wants to go to the pond. In the water. Alright. See you, little guy. All the best of luck.